everybody. This is Bo. We're back in the Sports Lounge, man. We are always going after the stories from across the country and across the world. And right now, we found out something that we're going to try to follow as much as possible to help ourselves out. There is now a professional women's football league, and it's been going on for some time now. And we're going to shoot that signal all the way down to Carolina and get a chance to talk to the owner and player of the Carolina Queens. How you doing, Ebony? I'm doing great. How are you today? Good. Now, Ebony Kimbrough, how did you get involved in this? This is a very dynamic, and I'm sure it was a lot of time to put this together. Always. Um, I've always played sports my whole life, but football has always been a passion. I just never had an outlet to perform it. Um, a few years ago, back in 2000, I discovered that there was a team in Greensboro, which is about an hour from me here in Charlotte, and I wanted to play so much, I decided to make that drive three, four times a week. So I went up joined that team, did the tryouts, joined that team, played there for three, four years, and that team got ready to fold. And then I decided, you know, I said, let me look into it and see if there's enough interest in Charlotte to see if I could start my own team. Surprisingly, there was a huge interest, and, you know, I did everything I needed to do, got with the league, um, found some sponsors, put the word out, had the tryouts, had a huge turnout, and I've had a team since 2005. You know what's impressive is that, uh, across this country, the Women's Football League is sprouting up everywhere. They've got so many new teams across the board. It's got to be very nice to see just the overfall, overflow of success of the programs. Yes. Now, it, it, it's, it's great. You, you, I think most people are surprised that there are enough women who have enough interest and enough passion for this sport to play it because it is full contact. It's not powder puff. It's not flag. It's just like you see the men playing the NFL. And I think that's the part that's really impressive to watch is that there's now, you know, with the professional soccer team, which in Carolina was very successful, as you know, now yeah. there's a professional women's football team, which in the South, football rules. And um, it's got to be nice to see a lot of uh, just an interest in questions. Um, over the several years, I mean, how much have you seen it grown? It's had to grow dynamically from all the growth it's doing. Yeah, it, every year there's a new team somewhere closer and closer. There's more people that want to try out. It, it's just amazing to me every year. I, I, I'm amazed myself to see that there's just as many women as myself, you know, that, that love this sport so much. You know, a lot have a lot, at least half of our fans that come to the game are women, and they're more into it than the men. <laughs> You'd be surprised. And the, the support from other women's sports is tremendous. You know, other women's their softball and basketball here and every other sport is just the support is great. And you know what? And I think the timing is right for it because women's hockey has been very successful. A lot of people talk about that. Obviously, the pro league soccer team that folded. Was